coming to terms with it, uh, Trev? Oh, slowly. Um, I think uh, you know we saw after the game the guys were pretty shattered and uh, it still hurts. And I think that's that's really what's going to motivate us, um, you know, over the over the preseason into next year because uh, yeah, it does it does uh, it's, a, it's a tough feeling uh, after the game and, and knowing that we're we're a great side and um, you know it's uh, it's disappointing, but we'll move on. I know it's early, but what's the missing link? Do you think you know for next year? Oh, look, I think. Uh, the side we have is uh, is pretty quality. I think we showed that we can match it with the best sides and we can match it with Hawthorne. Uh, there were certain areas that, that didn't work for us on the day and um, you know I guess to kick three goals nine in the first quarter it's, uh, it's pretty tough and you can't do that against a quality side in the prelim final. So I think we've definitely got the right side but we need to go to another level again. What do you, what do you do from now? Like, what's the uh, exit interviews and that sort of thing? What happens between now and when you break up? Yeah, so over the next couple of days we'll we'll have um, interviews with Kenny and, and the rest of the coaching staff and, and medicals and things like that, and uh, we'll get our training programs and, and they'll probably kick off in a couple of weeks. So it doesn't really you know, we get a couple of weeks off and, and then straight back into it. So um, I think the guys will have a, a couple of weeks just to sort of relax and and then um, I'm sure they'll be they'll be eager to get back into it. What are those interviews involved? Like? How long are they? What do you talk about? Do you set goals for next season, or does that come later down the track? Uh, they're pretty much just a review of the year. Uh, certain things that went well uh, with the, with the type of player that that's getting interviewed, and uh, what things to work on over the over the summer and, and the preseason. So they usually go for 15 or 20 minutes, and uh, they're usually pretty good. And uh, and there's also some tough calls that need to be made this time of year, which is um, which is which will be pretty hard. You guys, the playing group has had a, a, a big role in attracting blokes like Jared to the club. Are you going to have some sort of role in Paddy Ryder's decision? Oh look, if that comes about, I think you know we probably haven't focused too much of it the the last uh, few days because uh, we had a, bit, a pretty big prelim to, to play in. So I think list management will take care of that, and if we need to get involved, then then we'll get involved. Can we try and uh, seek him out while you're over there. Ah, uh, no, nah, no, nah, we'll, we'll go over there and uh, and cheer on Robbie uh, for tonight. That's uh, that's that's pretty much what we'll do, and uh, and hopefully we'll enjoy a, a good night. Should he be preparing a speech right now? Do you think? Uh, hopefully, I think uh, he's going to go pretty close. Obviously, he's, he, he won the coaches award, and he was probably, I think, the most consistent player this year. And uh, it'd be fantastic to cap it off with a, with a great night tonight for him. Uh, look, it's going to be a, a fantastic game. I think uh, the two of the best teams this year in the in the, uh, in the grand final. And um, look, Sydney just packed with stars, and uh, you know that forward line is is pretty potent. And, but you can't write off Hawthorne, um, you know, with the quality they've, they've got in there as well, and, and the experience. So it's uh, it's going to be a close one. I think Sydney might just pip them. Will you personally be watching it on the weekend, or do you sort of take a break from footy now? Yeah, it'll be. It'll, I think it'll be pretty hard to watch, um, knowing uh, you know how 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 we played in the prelim and, and how close we got. And, uh, but yeah, I'll certainly watch the game. I think you, you get a lot out of uh, watching big games like that, and, and we'll we'll learn from it and, and see what what level we need to go to again. Even tonight must be a bit bittersweet. It's nice to go to a Brownlow, I would assume, but um, you'd probably rather not be there. Yeah, certainly. I w we'd rather have it over here and, and be pre preparing for a grand final, but that's uh, that's not the case. And uh, you know, Hawthorne were the better side uh, on the night, and we go to Melbourne tonight, and, and hopefully we can celebrate for for one of our players. And how great can Robbie get, mate? Oh, look, I certainly think he's got a lot left. Um, you know, it's I think two years back from his knee injury, and uh, it's just taken another level this year. And um, I think he's still got plenty of work to do, and he knows he's got plenty of work to do. And, and that's scary because uh, you know we saw what he produced this year, and uh, it's exciting for our club to have him a part of our group, and, and knowing he's still got plenty to give. Just with Paddy Ryder, if things progress a little bit and you guys become involved, what would be your sort of sales pitch if you like to him? What's it? Why should he come and support? Oh, look, I think um, you know that's something that we'll, we'll need to discuss as a, as a playing group, and um, and our list management staff will will uh, you know be involved with that. And, and when that comes about, then uh, then we'll we'll probably pitch something to him. But for now, it's uh, you know it's up to the list management to do with all that. Sort is, of stuff. is there a better you know club to come to right now? Um, oh, it's it's probably Sydney or Hawthorne. They're in the grand final, so they're probably look, ahead of yeah, us at the moment. Yeah, look ahead though <laughs> with your with your player pool, your your um, age range. Oh, look, we, we think we're. Um, you know, in a great position as a club, uh, we think we've got a great list, and uh, certainly on the on the track to something, building something pretty special. Uh, we know we've got a lot of hard work to do, and uh, we've got a great a great group. And as, as we've always said, it's, it's a great family and a great tight knit group. And um, you know, we pride ourselves on working hard. And um, you know, whoever comes into the club, whether it was Polly or Whitey this year, they've come in and fitted in really well, and and just wanted to work hard. And and, and that's what we pride ourselves on as a club. On Robbie tonight, obviously the team Last success is the guys. ultimate, but. Sort of what would it mean for the playing group if, if he can get up and be recognised as the, the best in the comp? Oh, look, it'll be, I think it'll be fantastic. I mean, Robbie's certainly one of the uh, you know the favourites in the group. We, we certainly love him, and 
um, you know, just to see where he's come from. Uh, you know, the way he's worked to get back from that knee injury, and um, you know, it means so much to, to him. I know, and uh, he's a very humble person, and um, you know, would never speak, um, you know, about himself too much. But as a group, we, uh, you know, can't believe how how well he's come back from that knee injury and, and the foot he's playing. And, would certainly uh, be fantastic for the group and, and the club and Robbie. If not Robbie, who? Uh, look, I think Joel Selwood's had a fantastic year. Um, you know, and he, he's a great mate of mine as well. So I'd love to see him uh, get the, get it as well. But um, Gary Ablett had another fantastic year. So there's there's, there's a few that can win it. Uh, let's hope it uh, stays at Port Adelaide and, and Robbie can win it. You'd expect to take a few votes away from Robbie. Though. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's always hard to say. Um, I think uh, I had a, a bit of a flat patch during the middle of the year, and um, and Robbie pretty much had a consistent year all year through, so, all, all the way through. So uh, I think he'll probably poll pretty well.